This perfectly glazed roast chicken has a crispy skin, but it's not deep fried. It's proper Cantonese roast chicken done the simple way. I'm Jeremy Pang and welcome to Simple Family Feasts. Based on my new book, Jeremy Pang's Simple Family Feasts, which is out in all good bookshops now. And this really is the centerpiece of any sort of Chinese feast because traditionally the chicken is sort of blanched, dried, hung up whole to dry overnight. And then the really traditional way of roasting it is like they would with cha seal or any other roast meats like roast duck. And they'd hang it roasting in these huge old school ovens with thick walls. And whilst they're roasting a slow roasting, the chicken would wind dry and the skin would get crispier and crispier, but crisp with a roasted edge to it, not like deep fried. However, I've simplified the whole thing. The easiest way I find is actually to spatchcock your chicken. And the, to do that, you wanna go through the sort of back of your chicken and then just open it up like so. We're just cracking that backbone. And what you wanna do is sort of open the whole chicken up as much as possible so that when I do get my glaze over it, every or as much of the chicken itself and the skin of the chicken can get nice and glazed and create that crispy skin. Now, as I said, traditionally you would blanch this, but I've tried that and I thought actually it didn't really add too much to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of, much like making your roast duck or Peking roast duck, you just run your finger fingers through sort of between the skin and the meat trying not to break any part of the skin so finally slice some ginger into matchsticks and then i'm going to mix it with some five spice a couple of teaspoons uh, and a good amount of salt for the cavity to marinate that chicken give it some flavor now this really is a simplified version of the long version the traditional method but I'm following sort of similar principles with almost different steps to crisp up the skin later on tomorrow. The first is my glaze and I want to give this chicken enough time for this glaze to really settle in. Three simple ingredients. I've got a whole load of honey and then to balance out the sweetness some light soy sauce, a couple of tablespoons. That also sort of thins this out a bit so that it's more brushable. Got a couple of tablespoons of rice vinegar here as well. To be honest, any vinegar will do. And the rice vinegar also thins out that glaze again, but the acidity will help to sort of, almost like tighten up the skin and crisp it up later on. And then, just a good pinch of salt into that glaze as well for seasoning and to draw out as much moisture from the skin as possible. So this is going to be layered on over the next few hours, almost intermittently every hour or two, whenever you remember you want to sort of take it out of the fridge, give it a glaze, take it out of the fridge, give it another glaze until you're ready to cook it really. So I'm going to brush my chicken with its first glaze now. And then what I like to do to make sure that my, every part of my chicken skin airs well, is just sort of poke a wooden skewer, bamboo skewer, through the wings, like so. It kind of holds the wings up so that they can air nicely. And then I'll rebrush as I go. So as I say, I do not have an outdoor airing oven <laughs> for my chicken. Uh, so the, the easiest way I find to do this is take some sort of holy mechanism and then place it over the top. If you haven't got that, just a bit of foil or, uh, and, and then, or a bit of cling film and then poke some holes into it and then it should kind of dry out as you go. 
I'm going to pop this in the fridge. It's going to sit in the fridge overnight, but every couple of hours, I'm going to brush it again with my glaze. Of course, I don't mean if you need to go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. You know, you want to brush it every, as much as possible, over the course of 24 hours. I'm going to make a quick Sichuan pepper salt, which works perfectly with that lovely, sweet, salty glaze. Sichuan peppercorns. Just want to toast a couple of teaspoons. You want to get it nice and toasty to a point where you're really sort of almost hit with that aroma, that sort of citrusy, slightly sort of tingly aroma. Now toasting those Sichuan peppercorns really sort of almost like it tempers the spice, so it brings out the flavor, that citrusy flavor. I'm gonna add a good amount of salt. I'm making a Sichuan peppercorn salt here. And that's sea salt, so I'm just gonna crush that in together. And then weirdly, about half a teaspoon of sugar. The idea is that you get this sort of citrus, spice, tingly feeling, saltiness with a balance of sugar that kind of works its magic into the sweet, salty glaze of the chicken. Yes. Once your chicken's had its overnight marinade, you should get this sort of slight stickiness on the skin. And the next thing I'm gonna do to make the skin even crispier is use a bit of baking powder and salt. So I'm just gonna rub this over the top of the chicken skin. And what the baking powder does is it just dries that skin out even more. And you do want to sort of rub it in well. By this point, you'll have loads of flavor from that glaze on that skin. That's kind of sat in overnight. And you'll notice when you put your salt and baking powder on that it creates a really, it actually feels a lot wetter because you're drawing out moisture, even more moisture from that skin. Now at this point, you're gonna leave that for another hour or so. After your hour, you're gonna dab that skin dry with some kitchen paper, just as I'm doing now. The drier, the better at this point, but you can see now that skin is nice and dry. Last but not least, I'm gonna drizzle a bit of oil over the top of this. Because as I say, I want this chicken to be as crispy and lovely <laughs> and crispy as possible. Just brush that oil over the top so that every part of the skin crisps up nicely. I'm gonna pop it in the oven, 130 degrees C on a slow cook for 55 minutes before I whack the heat up, glaze it once more, and then finish it off. So you can see, after 15 minutes at 180 degrees, you've got this lovely, with that final glaze, you've got this lovely, crispy skin, the beautiful color on there, with the slow cook for almost an hour at 130 degrees. The chicken itself, the meat, should be really succulent, even the breast. It's actually so soft that inside that you barely have to do anything in terms of chopping. You should just be able to pull the parts of the chicken off. And when I carve it, I like it to be nice, sizable pieces so that with every bite you get a taste of the crispy roasted chicken skin. You can see how succulent the breast is, and that's from that slow cook. Now there's a whole load of flavor in this marinade. I'm not gonna pour it all over the skin, but don't waste it. Make sure it's all there, ready to be mopped up with some rice or even just a bit of bread. My favorite part of any video. You can see how juicy the meat is and soft it is. And when dipped into that salt, just a light dipping, a lovely tingling feeling. The hit of salt crisp skin on the outside, 
the beautiful glaze. This is the best roast chicken. Don't forget, this recipe is from my new book, Simple Family Feast, and this could absolutely be the centerpiece of any Chinese or Asian feast. Don't forget, as well, to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell, and we'll eat more chicken together. <laughs>